everyone, it's Autumn. Today we're gonna to talk about my favorites for the month of November. I have some fails too, but we're gonna kinda of like just sprinkle those throughout the video um, because some things kinda of go hand in hand. But I just wanna go ahead and get started because I'm dressed and ready to go to the gym. And I could have filmed this after, but I didn't feel like doing my hair and makeup again today. So this is this is where we're at. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this face wash um, from Naturium. And this brand is owned by another YouTuber and um, I always forget her name. Her channel is Mixed Makeup, but I forget what her name is. But anyway, she talks a lot about skincare and things like that. And she used to be a beauty editor for a magazine, I think. Uh, but anyway, she came out with a skincare line and I've used quite a bit of this. I've been using it for the past couple months. I forgot to mention it in last month's favorites. But this is a niacinamide um, cleansing gelée, you can see here. And the reason that I really like this is because it doesn't suds up and um, dry out my skin. Usually um, face washes that suds up a lot dry out my skin, but also I can like rub this into my lashes and remove makeup and it doesn't burn. Um, and I started using this because niacinamide is really good for um, perioral dermatitis and those sorts of things. And I found this to be really helpful. By the way, you can pick this up at Target. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in a non-favorite. So I haven't even gotten to use it yet, but when I went to repurchase this, I have another one because um, I'm almost out of this, I decided that I was gonna try the other cleanser that she had. And this is the Mixed Greens a nutrient rich cleanser. And as you can see, the top right here is broken off and that's kind of like, boy, it's not a favorite. So I guess it's not her fault. It's uh, Target's fault, but I'm not sure how that snapped off like that. I'm not quite sure what happened. But anyway, when you go to Target, you can do like curbside pickup and um, they will, you know, just throw all your stuff in your trunk for you. So they did that and this didn't have a lid. So I don't know where the lid is. Um, or like where the pump is, it just kind of broke off and they put this in my car. But what I am gonna do is clean this up when I'm all done with this one since I'm almost out and just swap them out. And I know that I could like return it to Target, but then they're just gonna throw this out and I find that to be really wasteful. So I'm just gonna wait to use it and then use my pump. I'll let you guys know if the cleanser itself is any good or what I think of it once I try it out. So my next favorite is this eyeliner from CoverGirl in the shade 130 Smoky Taupe. So this is like their cheapest eyeliner that they have through like at the drugstore or through CoverGirl. And it's like the old school one that you have to sharpen. And it's actually quite, it's like not hard hard, but it's not like soft and gel like. And that's actually why I like it. So when I sharpen it and I get a good point, I don't know if you can tell, but like, I'm gonna lean in here. So I use this to draw that little shadow right here. And it makes your eyes look bigger and makes your lashes look fuller when you kind of just put a little shadow down here. And that's kind of a trick that Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist Whitey always did on her. And that's why I like this because it's more precise to do that. I used to do it with like eyeshadow if I wanted to or eyeliner, but I always had to do a lot of cleanup if I used an actual eyeliner to do it. And um, this is perfect because if you just go lightly, it just gives you a little bit. So I've been really loving this for that. So the face powder I've been using for the majority of the month has been this one from Jaclyn Hill, um, which, or Jaclyn Cosmetics by Jaclyn Hill. And which I've really been surprised at how much I've really enjoyed this. So it's just one of these sorts of sifter deals and a lot of the times when you get these glowy all over face powders they give glow it's like a finishing powder but they don't set your makeup this gives i have the powder here it looks like skin it gives glow and it sets my makeup um the texture is really great and i have it all over my face right now i'm not sure if you can like tell but it really does just make my skin look like skin after I put on a foundation that might be a little bit mattifying or I guess flattening and this just brings life back to the skin and it just has like a super healthy glow. 
So back in October, I did a video where I talk about matching your nipple color to your lips, and that's supposed to be like your perfect shade. If you haven't seen the video, I'll have it linked up here. It was really fun to make. But in that video, I tried out some different lipsticks that were kind of outside of my comfort zone, and one in particular has become a favorite, and now I don't wear it full on, um, because still I think it does look a little bit flat, but it's this matte lip crayon from L'Oreal. And I think the reason why it's a favorite, and I even mentioned how good it smelled in that video, this is a nostalgic scent for me, and I don't know how old you people are watching. <laughs> well, I do know, I can look at analytics. Most of you are near my age. Um, so in the 90s, there was Bubble Yum Bubble Gum that was cotton candy flavored, and it had a very strong cotton candy scent. And I really, 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 always loved the smell of the gum. Like the flavor didn't last that long. It was like delicious, but the smell just always got me. And this is 100% that smell. It smells so good to me. Like makes me want to eat this. So if you want to have like a nostalgic moment, get one of these and sniff it and tell me that it doesn't smell like that bubble gum. Um, but anyway, I've been using this kind of almost like a lip liner since it's more matte and then going over it with a gloss, which actually I don't have anything on my lips right now. I didn't put anything on my lips because I am gonna go to the gym in a little bit. And I probably shouldn't talk while doing this, right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there for a minute, kind of lining it until we go into some other mentions for the month. But this has just been a favorite because it works like a lip liner a lot faster than a lip liner um, because the edge actually helps me put it directly where I want it to go and it smells delicious. I've actually just really been loving this. The color is also very similar to the Too Faced. Um, I'll show you. I have it in my drawer because I wanted to find a dupe for it. Three weeks later. Okay. I stopped digging for it, I can't find it, but I had like a little bitty nubbin left of the Too Faced Perfect Nude Lip Liner, which Too Faced has since discontinued, and that was the only lip liner that I could wear with everything, and I absolutely loved it. And it was a, it was a pink that had like a gray tone to it. This is a little bit deeper than that one, but I think this is the closest thing I'm gonna get to it. Um, but anyway, I kept the little nubbin that I had left because I was, gonna go searching at some point when we're allowed to swatch in store. Um, I was gonna go searching to see if I could find a dupe for it. But anyway, I've really been enjoying this. If you liked that Too Faced lip liner and it's discontinued now and you want something similar, this is a really good alternative. Why did I just pronounce all the T's? Alternative. <laughs> so I recently did a video where I tried the Kosas Take Home Kit or Take the Site Home Kit. And I'll leave it linked up here if you are curious, but essentially, you can go on the Kosas website and they will send you samples of pretty much everything on the website, like every color, the whole shade range. That way you can try items before you actually splash off the cash and you buy them. And then once you get the kit, which costs $35, they will email you a $35 like promo code or gift certificate to where you can put that towards a full size product on their site. So I did that and I ended up buying like $100 worth of Kosas products. There were quite a few um, that I wanted to try further and that I really enjoyed. And I have two favorites and one fail from my Kosas haul. So the first favorite is this blush and this is the Longitude Zero Color and Light Pressed. And I really like this because it just livens up the cheeks. Oh my gosh, why is it not focusing today? People always ask why I look over there, and that's why I wasn't even like in focus. Okay, hopefully that's better. So anyway, I I picked this up and I actually really enjoy it um, because this shade is perfect just for kind of adding like that perfect healthy flush to the skin, at least for my skin tone. Obviously, it's not gonna work on everybody. They do have versions of these apparently that um, have more pigment in them, but I feel like this is pretty pigmented and I wouldn't need anything more pigmented. Um, and then here's the highlight. In which the highlight to me just works as like a blush topper. It is like a little bit deep for my skin, at least to work as a highlight. 
but together these just look really rosy and healthy on the cheeks and I also really enjoyed it and I was surprised by this that normally when you have a powdery formula like this it doesn't work well like at the gym if you're going to be sweating or anything like that because it will bead up when you start sweating and come off of your face this doesn't do that it actually stays in place on the cheeks while you work out or at least while I work out and then the other item I really enjoyed that I ended up getting the full size of is their bronzer. And I liked this kind of for the same reason. It stays on the face, but this shade isn't matte and it gives a lot of life to the skin and it's also not dark. So I have a hard time. Let me, there we go. I have a hard time in the winter finding something that gives life to the skin without me looking like I am just trying to, um, sculpt or make my skin tone something that it isn't. And this just kind of livens up the skin and makes me look healthy. The fail that I have from this video, and it's not 100% a fail, but I probably wouldn't have purchased this had I had this experience prior, if that makes sense. So anyway, I got their brow gel, the clear brow gel, and I was loving it in that video because it really made my brows stay in place. Like, glue, which it still does, but I maybe didn't like use so much before, or maybe there's more on this since it is the full size, um, which I think that is the case that when I put this on and if I go outside of the lines on my brows, this really is like glue and it will stick to the skin. And then I go to put on foundation and the foundation goes over it. And then after so long, it will kind of, this will start to peel up off of the skin and it will look like I have dry skin patches right here. So then I go to get rid of them and then I'd have like wiped off all my foundation above my brows. Anyway, I just have to be really careful about how I apply this and make sure I don't go out of the line of my brow or it will look like really ridiculous and it'll look peeled up. Um, so you have to be careful. The other thing is this is really hard to open and shut. So I'm gonna obviously continue to use it, but it's probably something that I'm not gonna repurchase unless I really um, perfect like avoiding the forehead before I put my foundation on. So this next product is a favorite and a fail. This is the Persona Cosmetics E-Balm and I have the shade Gratitude. And the reason it's a favorite is because it feels moisturizing and I really do like the color. Here, let me swatch it here in my hand for you. And as you can see, it's just a super creamy formula. The problem with this is because it is such a super creamy formula, the minute I went to put it on, it got so messy. If you see, it just kind of started like falling apart in the container. So I have to be super careful when I apply this or it goes everywhere. And I have to apply it sparingly. I can't like apply it like I would a lip balm. I kind of just have to dab it on because if I apply it like a lip balm, it just goes all over the place and doesn't stay within the lip lines. So I have another L'Oreal product that is in the favorites and I don't know what they call these, if they're like gloss stains, I forget what they call them, but the formula is the same as the YSL gloss stains. And this is the shade Be Determined. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some on for you. There we go. And so if you notice on here, there is a brighter stain under the shade of the gloss. And the texture is a little bit stickier though, but the, so the gloss stays in place and it gives the lips almost like a, I don't wanna say lit with, lit from within because I feel like people use it a lot but there's more dimension so a lot of the times when you are putting together like a lip combination and you put a gloss over top of like your lipstick to where your lips kind of look more lively and not flat it takes two products this you just do it with the one because there's a stain built in that obviously goes on the under portion and then the gloss stays in place over top. So it's like just a lip combo in one product. All right, so let's talk about some more makeup products. And these are not favorites. Um, I'm not telling you that they're terrible, but I'm gonna tell you why they didn't really work out for me. This is a fail as far as 
Sephora is concerned with their swatches, which I've had problems in the past with you can the, with the photoshopped swatches that different makeup companies have, and then you get the product and it looks nothing like the swatches. Um, but this is the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm in the shade Beige, and you can see a little bit up close that where I have used this, and it actually changes color. So if it were the color that it was in the bullet, I wouldn't mind. And yes, I know that these deepen or change color some say ph body heat what have you like acidity i don't know but anyway i do have the regular lip glow and i also have the shade mahogany which mahogany doesn't really change colors it just kind of gives you like a nice sort of deep tint to your lips so i thought this might be the same and the shades on the sephora website definitely look more like i would say beige, like it says, like peachy beige. This is a, just a deeper version of their pink lip glow. Instead of being bright neon pink, this goes slightly deeper, but again, it brightens to a pink lip. And it's a cool tone when almost leaning purple, which they used to have a shade like that that was limited edition a long time ago. I don't think they have it anymore. But somehow it just looks like the more purple leaning one. So I'm going to put it on over what I've got going on on my lips and see if you notice. Um, actually, let me switch it on my, swatch it. Let me swatch it on my hand first here. So you can see, it looks like that. And when you first apply it on the lips, which I can wear it in a lip combo like this and it look better. And so I'm not going to apply it to the whole lip, kind of just like the inner portion here and I don't know how long it's going to take but I looked in the mirror the other day after applying it for the first time and my lips got like they were super pink so I obviously have to wear this with something else to kind of dial it back a bit um, just because I don't like wearing super bright pink lips so the texture and all of that good stuff is still beautiful it's what I expect I have it I don't know I have a lot of these um, I have most of the shades but anywho, had I known that it was going to be this color, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Uh, and even you can kind of see here, like, because normally you expect it to be whatever shade they show there, and it's not. And this is what they had kind of swatched it as online as well. So, I don't know. Moving on. <laughs> so I have one last makeup item to talk about, and again, it's not a favorite. Um, I'm probably going to put a video up here soon uh, talking about some Dior products that I have recently purchased. So Dior is one of my favorite makeup brands of all time. I've always loved their eyeshadow formula. And recently as I've been buying all this makeup and getting into Natasha Denona and all of that stuff, I realized that actually I still prefer Dior. I need to stop buying these really huge mega palettes that I'm not going to use all the colors in and I need to get some Dior eyeshadow palettes which I have purchased some I will show you in a haul and maybe do a video using those and swatching them but anyway today we're here to talk about their holiday blush so I bought three items from their holiday collection I got the two eyeshadow palettes and this blush and online when again they should it's the online picture thing when they show you the photos online it was like a beautiful pink blush with a blue shift. And there was a blush I had a long time ago from Cargo Cosmetics. I don't even think they're still around. But again, it was a cool pink with a blue shift to it. And I really enjoy wearing those sorts of colors because it reminds me of like, uh, I, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten like really hot and sweaty and like your face is a little bit red, but then the sweat's still there and the shine and it, almost seems to have like a blue tint to it. And I know I've talked about it before. Anyway, this, you can see like right up, it's glitter. And it, it didn't show glitter on the thing. And maybe I should have researched it more, but I didn't realize. I'm gonna put it on my cheeks. Again, I'm going to the gym, so they're just gonna think I'm crazy for having glittery cheeks. From a distance, it is exactly what I want it to be. It's beautiful. But then I get up close and I look in the mirror and I've just got little glitters all over my face. So I'm just gonna... Oh, and by the way, I didn't even mention the shade. This is their shade, just a 601. For some reason I thought it was like holographic or something. 
Do I have the box here? Hologram is the name of the shade. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna go into the blush and try to kick off as much of the glitter as I can. So yeah, it looks beautiful. I had some blush on, so I don't even know, but you can kind of see here. It looks beautiful from afar, but up close, there is a lot of glitter. Um, I'm gonna put it on the other cheek without banging it off on the thing, because a lot of the glitters did fall off, so, but then also a lot of the blue sheen did too. Yeah, like it's, I don't know if I could, I can't see the monitor if I'm looking the other way. I probably should have done the other cheek, but let's see here. Do you see the glitters all over my cheek? And just in case you're not seeing the glitters on the thing, I went ahead and I did a finger swatch. There we go. Here's a swatch of it on this finger. And I'll just... So I wanted the blue shift, just not with glitters. And the photos online looked absolutely beautiful. It just, it was a little bit di disappointing when I got it. Okay. All right, so the rest of the video is concentrated on favorites. And I wanna show you my eyeglasses, they're a favorite. All right, so several years ago, I did a video where I talk about I Buy Direct, and I probably had like 10 or 12 pair of their eyeglasses. I like, I was absolutely obsessed with them because they're affordable and they're super cute and the quality is actually quite good. So fast forward a couple years and each year when I go to get my eye exam, I end up just buying myself a couple of pairs because I why, like, because I got a little bit smarter and I realized that my type of eye problem that I have, my prescription changes uh, year to year. And so it doesn't make sense for me to just like buy a ton. So, you know, every year I probably buy myself probably three or four pair. And if you're curious, I'll have that video linked up here. Uh, where I try on a ton of them. I don't know which styles are still on their site from that video, but again, if you're curious about a review and all that good stuff, it'll be up here. Anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh, I like going every, all different directions. All right, so I got these, and I don't even know if this style is in style anymore. Mine are a little bit dirty because again, um, like I've been handling them and stuff, I need to like wipe them down. I don't know why I like these so much. I am sure I look like an absolute nerd. And I rem I was like thinking that these look a lot like the glasses that they put on like the creepy people and like 90s movies. <laughs> but I don't know, I like them. Um, so if, they're, if it's not a new thing to wear, like the cool kids are wearing them, um, it is now because I'm a cool kid. I've been wearing them everywhere. Um, literally nobody has complimented me on them though, so I'm pretty sure they think I look like a weirdo. I just like them. So anyway, I got these. I got some other pairs too, but that's the pair that I've been wearing the most. Oh, and if you're curious, I'll tell you what they're called, and I'll even link to them below. Um, these are called Jerry, J-E-R-R-I-E. So many of you may notice that I have my braces off and the dentist sold me these whitening trays um, and they're called Opalescence Go. I found them also on Amazon and you can get them. Um, but you get 10 whitening trays for around $60. But they're like the full on trays that stay on and I always had an issue with crust white strips whereas in like in the back, they would always fall off before the time limit was over. These don't obviously do that, and they are a stronger concentration than Crest White Strips and about the same price. Um, and I found that these work so much better. My teeth, I drink a lot of coffee, which I'm gonna get to that favorite here in a second. Um, so I need to continue using these, I guess. 
I'm still not to my full like white whiteness on my teeth. I need to use these more and then also this tooth right here is capped and I'm gonna have to have it um, redone so it actually will match the rest of my teeth because I noticed after whitening this tooth looks a little bit darker than the others. So I stopped whitening for a while because I don't want to go around with like a brown tooth, like one random brown tooth right here. I'm sure I'm the only person who notices it, but I notice it, so. So speaking of coffee, which I should have brought it in here, but I'm just gonna have something on the screen. I have been obsessed with, I think it's pronounced like Califia Farms, Calif I don't know, Califia Farms, I have no idea. But, but I've been getting their concentrated cold brew coffee off of Amazon, and I think they send me like six in a box and it's lasted me like a month, uh, the six. I just ordered my second box of it, so I figured I would throw it to my favorites. But that with oat milk, and then also I'll have here on the screen is, um, they came out with oatmeal cream pie coffee creamer. And I just do a splash of that after the oat milk, just to add a little bit of sweetness, and it's so good. Like I've been really chugging down some iced coffees recently, and I've tried other concentrated coffees, like I tried the Javi one, and that one was too bitter. It didn't have a good taste. This one tastes like a cold brew coffee that like you got out at a nicer coffee shop. So I do have a fragrance favorite for the month, and I have a video coming up where I talk about all commodity fragrances. Many of you who have been watching my channel for a while may know that I love commodity scents, and they just came out with, I think they're like calling them like I forget what they call them. But they have their scents, if you notice here, this has a plus on it. And so there's the regular one, which is just like their regular strength, and then they have the plus and they have a minus. And they have that for quite a few of their scents now, even some of the originals that I love, like Book and Moss, like those also are now part of the plus minus, I guess, range. I'm not quite sure what, to, I'll have what they call it here on the screen. Anyway, I got a whole sampler from their site so I could try all of their scents and that's part of the video that's going to be coming up as, as well as talking about all of their other fragrances that I have. But I went ahead and I ordered this from them because I was so in love with the scent and this is Milk Plus and this, oh my gosh, this is sweet woody marshmallow and it's like the type of marshmallow there's a little bit of smoke in it it's like yummy burnt marshmallow this smells so good the scent is addictive like I've been spraying this throughout the month ever since I got it I absolutely love it oh they call it scent space and this is considered bold um, and I guess that's kind of like how far away people can smell you so they have like the one that's like just for you I don't know. Again, I'll have it on the screen. But anyway, this one says, for me and everyone else, pretty much saying that like, I want people to smell me. And this is just so beautiful and yummy. Like, such a cozy fragrance, perfect for winter, which we're in. Well, we're not in winter yet, but it, there's snow outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it. And then I have a YouTuber and a podcast to talk about. So the YouTuber I wanna talk about her name, I guess, is Sherry. I don't, I don't know if that's her actual name, but her YouTube name is Sherry Voyage. And when I purchased all of the Dior holiday stuff, I went ahead after buying it, which I probably should have done it the other way around. I went ahead after buying it to see if anybody online has talked about it. And she did some videos talking about the products, and then I started scrolling through her videos, and I realized that she and I have very similar makeup taste, but she is strictly, for the most part, what I can tell luxury. And sometimes I try to dabble a little bit into luck, like drugstore to see if I can find like a hidden gem. But she mostly focuses just on luxury makeup. And she um, also, I believe, is like in the art world and works as a makeup artist as well. So I just really enjoyed watching her videos and um, she doesn't have that many subscribers. Like she has more than me, but like <laughs> she's putting out better quality content than I am. So if you haven't checked out her channel, I'm gonna go ahead and have it linked below for you to check out. I just really enjoyed seeing everything that she puts out and I agree with a lot of the stuff she's saying and the way she does makeup um, in a very simple way, like 
not Instagram or TikTok way is just really appealing to me because I feel like everybody right now is trying to put stuff out there for the shock factor as far as like how they're applying makeup, like dripping it all over their face or overselling products. But I'm having a hard time watching TikTok videos because they're really overselling products and there's somebody in particular, um, well actually there's like probably about five people in particular, but every product that they review on there is like the best product ever. Like it's so amazing. Like it's just, I'm sure you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. No hate to them. I think that there is a place in the makeup world to get people excited about makeup and I think that's 100% what they're doing. But also if you are on a budget and you don't have a ton of money to be spending on all of these products and then people give you like high hopes or false promises for what these products are gonna do for you and then you get them and essentially waste your money because they're nothing like what you thought they were gonna be, um, that can be very disappointing. So I like that she gives honest reviews without all of like the hyping up, if that makes sense. Um, and there's quite a few people obviously here on YouTube that hype stuff up too. And it's just really been bothering me, especially with the financial climate that we are in currently in this country. It just kind of bothers me because I feel like people still want to look good and they want to feel good. And then they get excited for these products that are oversold. And then they've just essentially wasted their money. And then the podcast I have been listening to recently is called Under Understood. And a long time ago, there used to be a podcast called Mystery Show to where if people had mysteries that they couldn't solve, they would solve them on the show. And sadly, that show never went into like a second season. So I think there's only like 10 or so episodes of that particular show. And I really enjoyed like them hunting to find the answers. And so Under Understood is very similar to that. And again, they try to answer things in like pop culture or different things like that that you cannot find the answer to on the internet and it just kind of fills the void that was left behind from the mystery show so i'll leave both of them linked down below if you've never listened to the mystery show it's delightful it's still available on um, apple Podcasts. it might be available other places too that's just where i listen but it kind of gives me the same feels and i really enjoy listening to it so those are all of my favorites and fails for the month of november and i also want to make a quick announcement here like I'm not sure that it's going to matter to any of you, but I am going to try for the month of December to put up a video every single day for the month of December, um, which I probably should have filmed some videos and had them like ready uh, for this weekend. Hopefully I can like <laughs> pump some out really quickly because I have army this weekend. So I'm going to try really hard to get that out. But that is the hope for December is to put out a video every day. That's my goal. So hopefully if you guys are watching this, you can help keep me accountable and ask where my video is. Anyway, look forward to that. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And, um, there will be a lot more videos, uh, coming up this month. So again, thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye.